Alrighty, well, another day, another dollar. Uh, here, enjoying some, gonna have a little bite to eat before I head on out. Got a Costco run to make today, but also, too, had some things I needed to tie some loose ends up here before I headed out. Um, today was a really good day. Wonderful discussion and Bible study this morning. Um, uh, uh, conversation about the fear of God and what that means. And uh, words like respect and honor uh, came up with that, that notion of the fear of God. Really good conversation and Bible study this morning. And then worship. <laughs> I have to admit, I was, you know, because of the fact that there was so much going on this morning, there was a lot of people here for breakfast. Breakfast seemed to be hopping more than usual. And then, of course, after breakfast, um, had the Bible study, and then after Bible study, coming into worship. And I think just sometimes this happens, and uh, I probably should have had more on the ball before uh, 9.30, but I didn't. So I was kind of running around like a chicken with my head cut off a little bit. And by the time I got into the sanctuary, you know, just really didn't have time to prepare for worship. And luckily, um, the Holy Spirit showed up and, and God did something amazing and brought out voices. Um, wonderful voices in the, uh, in the congregation today, people singing. And uh, even in a part of the song where I forgot the chords and I just stopped playing and just let the voices go. It, it was beautiful hearing all the different voices singing. And, uh, so, I mean, isn't that how God works? God makes up for our shortcomings all the time. Um, not always prepared, not always ready for what life is going to hand you, but God meets you in that place anyways, and he did today. He met us in that place. Uh, but that's, you know, that's enough of the review for, for the day, looking at island number seven. Um, I think the thing that I want to just kind of put out there uh, this week is, is we we are now um, almost two months or so into our um, new relationship with Downtown Ministries and being with them as they've gone through the journey that they've gone through. And and there's a hundred and some people in this building every single morning now for breakfast. And we serve breakfast seven days a week now through Downtown Ministries. And um, it's becoming... It's becoming kind of what happens. Uh, for some people, it's new, but it really be, it's becoming, you know, after you do something for several times, it becomes the norm. And um, that's what it's becoming, and that's a good thing, that, uh, that serving breakfast seven days a week is the norm, even though this is only the second Sunday that we've done it. Um, but here's one of the dangers that happens when something becomes normal. You start to nitpick. You know, we, we start to see beyond uh, the bigger picture, and we start focusing on the little picture. Let me give you an example. Um, when I go into someone's house for the very first time, um, I can tell you about you know the the overall feel of the house. I can tell you maybe some color schemes, but I can't tell you what color the grout is. I can't tell you what kind of floors they have because I'm not paying attention because it's the first time in my house, so I need to in the house, so I need to leave my head raised. I need to be looking around to make sure I don't run into anything, make sure I'm going the right way, you know that kind of thing. When I'm in my house and I'm walking across the house, eh, I can have my head down. In fact, I probably can have my eyes closed, and I can make it from the kitchen to my bedroom without any problem. Um, and when I have my head down, when I'm not looking around me. Uh, I start to see the color of the grout. I start to see the imperfections in the tile. I start to see, you know, maybe that it needs to be cleaned. Whereas I wouldn't have seen it in any other house because I wouldn't have been looking. And that's the same thing. When we get a familiarity with something, uh, we start to get into the place where we start to see things that have always been there, uh, but we just didn't take them in in the big picture. And in the big picture, they really don't mean that much. Um, like the little chip in the in the tie, or like the fact that it might need swept. It'll get there. Um, and it's the same way, I think, with ministry. When we're doing ministry and we're doing something new at the beginning, it's exciting and it's fun and it's big picture and, you know, everybody is is all excited about it. But then after you've been doing it for a little while, and, and a little while is, is literally a little while, just a, maybe a month or so, um, you start to you know see the little imperfections. You start to see the the chips in the in the tile. You start to see the, the little pile of dust bunnies over in the corner that you didn't see before, and you get kind of nitpicky on it. And um, that's one of the dangers that we have in this ministry and in any ministry, and really in in any um, setting where people are doing something, where people are working. 
Um, we have a tendency to lose the big picture, and uh, my encouragement to all of you who are watching this now, whether you go to Central Christian Church or not, is please don't ever lose the big picture. Yeah, there's always going to be things to nitpick. There's always going to be dust bunnies in the corner. There's always going to be tile that's going to be nicked. There's always going to be a floor that needs to be mopped. There's always going to be paint that needs to be you know, updated. That's always going to happen, but look at the big picture and say, you know, what are we accomplishing? What, what's God doing in this, in this place? And when you start to realize that again, it kind of re resets you back to the beginning when the ministry was new and you realized the impact that you were having. And, and uh, so the, this ministry, uh, for the first time in the two years that I've been here, is really having an impact. And it's an impact through a partnership. Um, the church might not be doing it itself, but we're, we're creating the environment for it to happen and we're partnering with them. We're welcoming people with open arms. We're offering Bible studies. We're offering our worship services. Uh, and uh, it kind of fits, and it's a very good fit. And, and I just don't want anything to mess that up. just don't want anything to mess that up. So I just pray for this ministry and for your ministry, for your home, for your business, for whatever you do. Um, don't lose sight of the big picture. Don't get caught up in the dust bunnies in the corner. Don't get caught up in the little imperfections in the tile. Uh, raise your head, open your eyes, and look around and see what God's doing um, all around you. And be a part of that. And know that the dust bunnies and the tile and all, they'll, they'll, that's, gets, that gets taken care of. That's small stuff. We can't sweat the small stuff. All right, that's enough of my soapbox for today. Um, I uh, hope that this week has a great you, and I look forward to connecting with you next week. If you're in town, come to Central for worship. If not, then I, I pray that there's a blessing for you wherever you happen to be and whatever you happen to be doing. And we'll see you soon.